So I think orchestration um, has turned the uh, complicated journey into a very smooth streamline. And I, th I think that's one of the biggest benefits we have. Hi, um, my name is Trisha. I'm from Rhino Shield. Um, Rhino Shield is a company that makes uh, protective phone cases and also the accessories of phone cases. And I'm from the IT department. I'm the data team lead. I think um, when I first joined the company, I think we rely a lot on the digital ads. And then it comes the um, influencer uh, marketing. But now I think the customers are just become more and more pickier. Yeah, so um, um, for um, I think the customers are expecting, you know, more personalization, but also seamless experiences. So um, they want to be reached, but they don't want to be sailed. So um, um, I think the, uh, the streamline and also the personalization that plays a very important role when we, you know, communicating with the customers. Yeah, because they are looking forward to um, a more, even more creativity, you know, not just through single touch points, not just through um, social medias, but also uh, in a lot of ways, they want to be surprised with uh, creativity. So for example, in Taiwan, um, recently people are hyped with threads. And Threads doesn't have a lot of ads right now, but I already see a lot of, you know, um, ads like post, and that would also attract people. Yeah, so I think for now, nowadays, uh, we just need to be more creative and also um, needs to be more seamless when we reach the customers. In our company, inside of a company, um, we've been debating back and forth about you know how should we focus more on localization or also or rather on centralization, but uh, I think in the from the experience um, in uh, for, from the past few years, I think having the core value of your brand uh, brand value is the most uh, important things, and then localization should extend from those brand core values, and I think our CEO and also our brand team, they are doing a very good job on that. So in the past few years, we've been you know, uh, refining what are the core values of Rhino Shield. And nowadays, Rhino Shield wants to be uh, you know, uh, uh, more like uh, protective to our environment, not just making a phone case. Yeah, so for those markets, we extend for these core values by um, different channels because um, each market, they have different app and channel preferences. But um, once you have the core value, all the other applications and localization will become way easier because that's just a matter of modification and also um, the tool applications uh, when you when you are reaching or contacting different markets. So I think we finally found um, uh, like a better solution. Once you have the core value, and then all you have to do is to find the root, uh, find the right tools that help you um, apply and and get closer to local markets. I think we learned from our pains. In the past, we try to integrate different data formats and then collect them into um, our centralized database. But I think nowadays we're doing um, from the foundation also the structure. Um, as a data team lead, um, we when we are when we are. Uh, constructing our customer database, I think structure is the most important thing. You need to find the core data that applies uh, for all the markets. And, and then for each market, they might have different third-party services um, to uh, integrate with those data. Once you have the foundation and also the structure uh, well-established, those data can be, uh, you know, can be regionalized and also localized uh, based up upon the structure that you're building. So I think centralization structure wise and also the foundation is are still the core of you know building those infrastructures and then you know combining with different um, various 
third party, uh, like either for, for France and other, also other markets, they have different uh, um, like customer apps and then also uh, applications. Um, all you have to do is to, you know, integrate them to through the right uh, segments. And then that's how that's we are still on the track of it. But I think uh, we are pretty confident that uh, this is the right way of, you know, uh, central governance and also, you know, localization. Trust is still like our top priori priority when we reach each market. So every time we, uh, if the, when the, whenever there's a new regulation, we also we we always comply them system wise, not just you know, not just, you know, uh, getting notified and then do nothing. So um, I think from our, uh, we, we are a great partner with Google and also Shopify. I think they're, they're also doing a great job, um, you know, combining those consent and then customer privacy regulations. So um, whenever there's a, there's a change, we will have the meetings and also uh, uh, related uh, solutions to comply with those privacy changes. But once the customer, uh, the customer labels and data has been, you know, correctly, uh, systematically collected, and segmentation will play an important role. We just, we, we don't just send, you know, blind emails, you know, to all to reach all the customers. That's that's just not very cost effective. So um, um, with better data that we can do uh, a more precise data-driven decisions regarding uh, what kind of customers we're going to reach, you know, based on the campaigns and different purposes. And of course, that needs to be combined very well with the system so that we can do this in a very efficient way. We are already using generative AI in a lot of segments and also a lot of functions. Um, so um, for example, our customer service, they're already using the suggested uh, responses from generative AI. Yeah, and um, our brand team, you know, and not just our brand team and also IT when we're brainstorming uh, for different uh, design of websites or contents, we're already using generative AI on that. So I think the impact is huge for sure. And it's already, it's happening right now. So yeah, and if you, um, if any corporate doesn't comply with the change, and I think they will be having a hard time in the future keeping up with the, the pace that AI is evolving. Like I mentioned earlier, we have many different markets. So uh, um, for different touch points and apps, I think Moment has done a great job, you know, doing orchestrating those journeys because um, different um, regional marketers, they um, when they're creating a campaign or a, a journey for the customers, um, they don't need to worry about if that will, uh, if, if that channel is not, you know, not if the journey doesn't comply with the with the customers and i think moment is first is doing a great job integrating different channels and and different sources and touch points and also it it also uh has uh the label it also labeled the customers once you know the journey has been completed so i think orchestration um has turned the uh, complicated journey into a very smooth streamline and that, that I think that's one of the biggest benefits we have. We have been using Shopify as our backend for a long time. Infobib has you know great integration with Shopify and I think well, most of our marketers they 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 really think that you know, that's one of the major points that Info, Infobib helped us, you know, great Shopify integration. And they have also mentioned, you know, great service from the account managers. Yeah, so um, prompt responses and empathy and also, you know, a comprehensive consideration when, you know, when we, when we encounter an issue, the account manager can always uh, come up with a fast and prompt and also a nice solution, you know, and help us solve the issues. Yeah, so I think that's that's why we choose Infobib, you know, um, 
um, because we cannot, we, we, we still need to rely on Shopify right now. Yeah, so uh, I think InfoBit has technically, and especially from IT, I know um, that integration can, you know, help us reduce a lot of costs from IT if we, we don't need to consider, you know, switching to a different service or whatever.